Hey, how's it going everyone? Um, so as you know, we recently had a poll on our Facebook page on if you would rather see us open five Zendikar Rising collector booster boxes, or if you would prefer us open 50 of the Zendikar Rising Expedition box topper packs. Poll ran for about a while, and Zendikar Rising collector booster boxes won. So today we're gonna be cracking five of these bad boys. Without further ado, we will get right into this. Uh, inside we get 12 booster packs of Zendikar Rising Collector Booster. There's a mix of foil commons, uncommons at the front. We're gonna get some cool extended art cards, some of the full art uh, borderless, some of the showcase foils, and we're really hoping for some of the foil expeditions. That's the real money one in this, and they're absolutely gorgeous. So we will start opening one of these. So we got our 12 collector packs, and they do come with two box toppers of the Zendikar Rising non-foil expeditions inside. We'll put all these to the side and we'll do them all at the end. So first pack, let's see what we got. The cool double-sided foil tokens on the back. We got a copy, and we got an Angel Warrior. So let's see here, we got Zulaport Duelist, Mesolinx, Territorial Scythe Cat, Pressure point. Feed the swarm. This is a sweet one. It's black finally has some more enchantment removal, something that the color pie typically hasn't allowed for in magic. We got Merfolk Falconer. Song Mad Treachery. This is the first of the double-faced uh, land spell hybrids. They're super sweet. Make for excellent games of limited and even constructed. They're super powerful. We got the new Zendikar Rising Full Arts. This has been a treat in all of the Zendikars beforehand. Um, they came out with a couple new arts on them and they're absolutely gorgeous. I'm a huge fan of the island. I'm sure we'll see one of those later. Our first, first full art, we have Mall of the Skyclaves. This is a cool uh, build your own kind of big beatdown spell. Uh, I like a lot of these new equipment from the format as they all enter attached to a, to a creature. They're kind of like these more versatile auras. We got Foil Confounding Conundrum. Got our first alternate art, Dreadworm. Territorial Scythe Cat. Bright Climb Pathway. It's extended of one of the new modular dual-faced dual lands. You kind of choose as you play them. They're super sweet. Spitfire Legac and Right there, we got a foil windswept heath. Bring this one nice and close for everyone. Absolutely gorgeous. These new foils, these new foil expeditions, beautiful. Great start to it. On to the next pack. Cliffhaven Sellsword. Teeter Peak Ambusher. Blood Price, Kazandu Nectar Pot, Spitfire Legac, big fan of my Legax, Amiria Captain, Vastwood Surge, another one of these gorgeous new Fuller Zendikar lands by Sam Burley, Maddening Cockafanny, this one's sweet, a yeah, big addition to kind of the modern uh, mill strategy. It works as kind of a slightly less glimpse of the unthinkable while also being able to just mill half their library late in the game. They have a foil Yesharn, Implacable Earth. This one's pretty cool. Uh, ramps you, fixes your mana, and shuts off like fetch lands and other activated abilities in games of EDH. Kind of a rad one. Territorial Scythe Cat. Another Spitfire Legac. Ooh, we got Lotus Cobra. Art on this one is absolutely fantastic. This is returning from the original Zendikar. This is our third time back in Zendikar and this was a classic from the first one. Canopy Bailiff. Ooh, Scourge of the Skyclaves for our extended art foil. This one's already starting to pop up in a couple different modern shells. Uh, it's kind of a pseudo death shadow where rather than counting your own life, it cares about just the lowest life, or sorry, the highest life of any player. 
That's a sweet one. <sighs> Practice Tactics, Adventure Awaits, Cleric of Chill Depths. Uh, real quick, big fan of this Adventure Awaits and how the limited team for Wizards of the Coast and how they're designing cards is just making it better and better. Uh, so look at the top five cards of your library. You may reveal a creature card from among them and put it into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in, any, in a random order. But if you didn't put a card into your hand this way, draw a card. So just another way of how they're removing the variance of having a complete whiff. Regardless, you're going to get a card out of it and you can even choose not to get a creature and just dig a little bit deeper in your deck if you're hunting for something specific. Uh, Skyclave Sentinel, Expedition Champion, Lull Mage's Domination, Call in the Ambush. Yeah, sweet looking mountain. Hagger Mauling, this is pretty cool. It's a murder that's also a land. We got another Madany Cockapanny, just a normal foil. A Coom Hellhound. This one's pretty sweet. It's Red's version of Steplinks, if any of you are familiar from that card from I believe World Wake is when it originally came out. Prowling Felidar, another one of the double-faced lands, the white-red hybrid. Kazandu Nectarpot, ooh, and we got the alternate Nissa of Shadowed Boz. Uh, all these alternate Planeswalker arts are absolutely gorgeous. They have David Raposa doing it, who's done work on many different games. Uh, it works for Steam, Riot, etc. And just an absolutely fantastic artist. This Nissa is pretty cool too. So this is the first time that Nissa has dipped her toes into the black color pool. Um, and it's got a cool ability where it has a landfall to add loyalty counters. So not just using Planeswalker abilities to take it up. You also have lands to help synergize with that. Super sweet one. And we got our token. So we got Expedition Healer, Kazandu Stomper, Vanquish the Weak, Seagate Colossus, Ghoul Draws Mucklord, Goma Fata Vanguard, Song Mad Treachery, we got a sweet looking Cup Island, Nimble Trap Finder. Ancient Greed Warned. This is a sweet one. Four mana, two green, elemental, five, seven. It's got reach. You can play lands from your graveyard. And if a land entering the battlefield causes a triggered ability of a permanent you control to trigger, that ability triggers an additional time. So it's basically a landfall panharmonicon. Bunch of sweet shenanigans you can do in EDH with this thing. McKindy Ox. Skyclave Squid. Nahiri, Heir of the Ancients, another one of the alternate arts from David Raposa. Pretty sweet in a Voltron style EDH deck. Skyclave Pickaxe, Archon of Emeria. It's another kind of death and taxes type card. Uh, flying 2-3, each player can't cast more than one spell each turn. And non-basic lands enter the battlefield tapped. Expedition Diviner. Morassa Rootgazer, Acquisitions Expert, Forest, Ondu Inversion, this is a Planar Cleansing kind of land hybrid, Planar Cleansing on one side and then just a Plains on the back, Bright Climb Pathway, this is the red black one, or white black one, sorry, Canopy Bailiff, I'm dropping cards, but the expedition was just jumping out, I guess. You're on Expedition Blackleaf's Cliffs. Super sweet. All right, let's see what we missed. <laughs> we had the Canopy Bailiff, Prowling Felidar, Kazandu Mammoth, Kazandu Nectarpot, and then we have that Blackleaf Cliffs. Almost done this box, pretty good so far. We got our two expeditions, almost standard. Tazim Raptor, Sneaking Guide, Mind Drain, Risen Riptide, Morassa Brute, Relic Axe, 
Roiling Regrowth, Forest, Forsaken Monument, this is another cool EDH one. So it's a colorless legendary artifact, and your colorless creatures you control get plus two, plus two. And whenever you tap a permanent for colorless, add an additional colorless. And whenever you cast a colorless spell, you gain two life. You get another Verizal, the Split Current, Canopy Bailoth, Prowling Felidar, Skute Swarm. This one's super sweet. You can go not infinite, but this gets out of hand very quick, exponentially. So it's uh, two colorless and a green for a 1 1 insect. Landfall, whenever land enters under your control, create a 1 1 insect token. However, if you control six or more lands, then just create a copy. That's a a token that's a copy of Skute Swarm. So you can imagine once you have those six lands and all your Skute Swarms are triggering the same time and making copies, just overwhelm your opponents. We got a Coom Hellhound, and we got one of the alternate foil double face lands. These things are absolutely gorgeous. Big fan of the clear water pathway art. All right, so that's all that for the first box. Take a peek again, we've got the Black Leaf Cliffs, Windswept Heath, and that gorgeous Nissa of Shadow Balls is some of the highlights. Oh, and the Scourge of Skyclave is another big sweet one. All right, let's crack into the next box. Once again, we got the two box topper expedition packs. We'll save those to the end. Those are only for the non-foil. They come in collector boxes, draft booster boxes, and set booster boxes. Chilling Trap, Smite the Monstrous, Expedition Skulker, Canopy Bailoth, Tuck Tuck Rubble Fort, Blood Chief's Thirst. This is a sweet one for modern, standard, pioneer, a bunch of different extended formats. It's a black for a sorcery, and it's got kicker, two colors and a black. Destroy target creature or planeswalker with CMC two or less. And if that spell was kicked, or if this spell was kicked, and said destroy target creature or planeswalker. Vastwood Fortification, Mountain, Inscription of Abundance, Prowling Barons, Spitfire Legac, Skyclave Squid, Kazandu Mammoth, Canopy Bailoff. Ooh, once again. A sweet expedition. Wooded foothills this time. Absolutely sweet. Uh, I really like these versatile lands in mid-range type aggro decks where you can afford to play a land or two that isn't colored. One that's kind of a utility versatile land. Uh, you can pay four to put two counters on it and then have it become a zero zero elemental. So it's a great mana sink late in the game. Uh, I can get in for a good chunk of damage. Yeah, sweet card. I think there's a world that modern Tron decks might be able to slot it in as a one of over one of their five forests or something like that. It turns your expedition maps, your Sylvan Scryings, etc., into an actual threat late game rather than just being a dead top deck. Synchronized Spellcraft, Tazim Royal Mage, Broken Wings, Scale the Heights, Cleric of Chill Depths, Relic Golem, Soaring Thought Thief, Plains, Nimble Trap Finder, Inscription of Rune, Kazandu Nectar Pot, Akum Hellhound, and here's the cycle at least. This is the last alternate uh, Planeswalker by David Raposa. This is the Jace. I, I like this card a lot for standard. I don't know if it'll see play in other extended formats. I think it's pretty cool. It's got the kicker ability of making more Jaces and they start to work in tandem together of one scries, the other draws a card so you're not taking damage if you can set it up properly or at least limiting the amount of damage that the Jace takes. Canyon Jerboa and huh, there it is again, the Jace, the alternate foil though this time. Super sweet. Farsight Adept, 
Fissure Wizard, Drawn a Silencer, Feed the Swarm, Rapid Bite, Thwart the Grave, Shatter Skull Minotaur, Forest, Glass Pool Mimic, Kazandu Mammoth, Prowling Felidar, Skyclave Geopede, got the Red White Dual Land, Dreadworm, ooh, and we got Dark Slick Shores, another expedition. Cliffhaven Cell Sword, Kazandu Nectar Pot, Disenchant, Shepherd of Heroes, Living Tempest, Merfolk Falconer, Colney Ambush, we got another one of the Sweet Islands, Master of Winds, Inscription of Insight, Territorial Scythe Cat, Canyon Jerboa, and we got everyone's favorite Omnath Locus of Creation. So red, green, white, blue, so it's four mana, four, four, legendary creature, elemental, when it ETBs, you draw a card, and it has landfall. Uh, we got a bunch of, got a bunch going on with the landfall. Whenever land enters the battlefield under your control, you gain four life if this is the first time this ability has resolved this turn. If it's the second time, you add red, green, white, blue. If it's the third time, it deals four damage to each opponent and each planeswalker you don't control. This card is wreaking havoc already in standard and modern. Absolute powerhouse along Uro. Uh, Lotus Cobra helping cast this thing easy on turn three. And you're having these just absolutely insane turn fours where you're gaining life, dealing damage, getting all your mana back that you spent to cast this thing and whatnot. In a combination of Lotus Cobra, Uro, this, uh, Fable Passage, Evolving Wilds, you're having just some absurd turns. Kazandu Nectar Pot. Aura, Skyclave, Hierophant is our Fuller Foil. Ardent Electromancer, Deliberate, Reclaim the Wastes, Nemana Skitter Sneak, Grotag Budcatcher, Cargan Warleader, Shadow Stinger, Forest. Leon and Angel, this is a pretty cool Squadron Hawk type card. Grok Maw, Skyclave Ravager, Kazandu Nectar Pot, Akum Hellhound, Skeet Swarm, Territorial Scythe Cat, and we got another Expedition. We got Wasteland this time. This one's super sweet. I like the art on this, it's just disintegrating away. Wicked. Not a bad box, we got our two expeditions. We got Wood of Foothills, Wasteland. Oh, sorry, we actually got three in this one. What am I saying? It was a super sweet box. Wood of Foothills, Dark Slick Shores, Wasteland, and we got that sweet alternate foil Jace Mirror Mage. Brushfire Elemental, Demon's Disciple. Plains, Tajaru Paragon, We've got Foil Nahiri, Heir of the Ancients, Spitfire Legak, Skyclave Squid, We've got the Blue Black Duel again, Ooh. we got Skyclave Pickaxe Foil, and we got an Arid Mesa Expedition. Super sweet. Really excited that the box toppers for no matter which box you have, has a non-foil expedition. Uh, just having a lot more, obviously not one, everyone has a fetch land, every pack won't, but having more opportunity to have non-foil fetches is a great decision by wizards. Players. All right, so recap on the third box. Some of the highlights. We got the Thieving Skydiver, Ashaya, Aired Mesa, and luxury suite. On box number four. Two box toppers. Here we will. 
clean some of this up. Might look fun now, but I'll still sort all this later. <laughs> Got our commons, Soaring Thought Thief, McKinney Stampede, Mountain, Crawling Barons, Morog Fury of Akum, the extra extra combat landfall guy, Spitfire Legac, McKinney Ox, Needle Verge Pathway, that's the red white duel, McKinney Ox, and we got another wasteland. We got two of them now. That's a sweet one. All these cards that are open here today are going to be going into the store. Um, we'll have a bunch of them in our showcase on release Friday, as well as we'll have them all up on our website, centraboxcards.com. So to make sure, go check those out. If they're still there, the ones that you're looking for, though, I expect a lot of these to go pretty fast. Commons, Attended Healer, Marasa Sproutling, Swamp, Nighthawk Scavenger, Shadows Verdict, Squid, Prowling Felidar, Altar Nahiri, Air of the Ancients, Kazandu Nectarpot, and another Full Art Foil, Scourge of the Skyclaves. Clerical Life's Bound, Scion of the Swarm, Forest, Valakut Awakening, Kazandu Mammoth, McKinney Ox, Territorial Scythe Cat, we got the red green one, Prowling Felidar, and we got a Marsh Flats in the last pack. Super sweet. Hoping the camera can see that here. That's a wicked one. Great way to end that fourth box. And here we are, last box of Zendikar Rising Collector Booster. Though, stay tuned after this as we still have all of the box stoppers to open and that'll be super sweet. That's gonna be mono non-foil expeditions. Throw these over here. All right, I'm really hoping to see, what do I wanna see in these? I'd like to see a full art foil. The Scute Swarm I think would be pretty cool, as well as Cavern of Souls Expedition. Those are the two I wanna see. Rock Slide Sorcerer, Journey to Oblivion. I like the art on this. I'm just getting cut and pasted right out of it. Mountain, Magmatic Channeler, Nihiri's Glyphoforming, Kazandu Nectar Pot, Skyclave Squid, River Glide Pathway, the Blue Red Duel, Dreadworm. Woo! And I called it. That's what I wanted to see. We got a Cavern of Souls Expedition Foil. That's super sweet. What are the odds on that? Now we just need the Full Art Foil Skute Swarm and the prophecy will be foretold. Core Blade Master, Taunting Arbor Mage, Forest, Ashaya, Soul of the Wild, Legion Angel, Territorial Scythe Cat, McKinney Ox, Lotus Cobra, it's a sweet looking one every time I see it. Territorial Scythe Cat, and we got Glass Pool Mimic. Land on one side, clone on the other. Throw this over here.
Ten to our last five. Oh, one too many. Relic Golem, Vastwood Fortification, Mountain, Shatter Skull Charger. Coveted Prize, Skyclip Squid, Akum Hellhound, Kazandu Mammoth, Prowling Folidar, Ooh, and we got Sea of Clouds Expedition from the Battle Bond kind of multiplayer dual land cycle. Super sweet one. Stay up there. Comments. Fearless Fledgling. His eyes just bugging out. I like that, that's funny. Vine Gecko. Planes. Nahiri's Lithoforming. Lithoform Engine is another sweet EDH one. Four mana for a legendary artifact. And it does everything. You can pay to tap it, copy target, activated or triggered ability, choose new targets. Three tap, copy target instant or sorcery spell you control, choose new targets. Four tap, copy target permanent spell you control, that copy becomes a token. Yeah, this is wicked. You can make creatures, copy spells, copy your counters, copy landfall triggers, planeswalker triggers, etc. Just an overall sweet card. Dreadworm. Territorial Scythe Cat, Felidar Retreat, Skyclave Squid, and Yasharn Implacable Earth. Last two collector packs. Still hoping for that foil, foil alternate scute, scute swarm thing. Deliberate, Cliffhaven Cell Sword, Oblivion's Hunger. Feed the Swarm, Expedition Diviner, Rune Crab, Cleric of Life Spawn, Forced, Seagate Restoration, that's a nice one, Branch Loft Pathway, Spitfire Legac, Rakindi Ox, The Blue Black Duel, Clear Water Pathway, Canyon Jerboa, and ooh, a third expedition in this box, Flooded Strand, that's a gorgeous one. The wave just crashing in the middle of the, just the middle of the ground. <laughs> so far, so good. Cavern, sea of clouds, and flooded strand. Comments. Soaring thought thief. Thwart the grave. Swamp. Soul shatter. Glass Pool Mimic, Canopy Bailoth, Fearless Fledgling, Alternate Jace. Love these artwork. They're sweet. Dreadworm, and our last alternate foil full art. Akiri, Fearless Voyager. Overall, sweet box to end on. Three expeditions. Got the cavern I was hoping to see. Wicked one. All right, so we got our Zendikar Rising Expedition box toppers. We got all 10 of them. However, I got scissors for these. These packs are real pain to open and you don't want to bend them. So I recommend just snipping the tops off. And we'll speed this up for you. A few moments later. All right, so we're all done cutting them here. Let's see what we got first. Wasteland, Prismatic Vista, Grove of the Burn Willows, Wooded Foothills, Celestial Colonnade. I like the art on this one. The land awakening into this being almost. I think it's super sweet. Mm. 
Marsh Flats. Scalding Tarn, that's a sweet one. I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but all these non-foil expeditions, the colored border around the edge has this almost sheen to them. And they have, yeah, get up in here. They're, they're not foil, but they kind of look like they pop like that. They're super sweet. Strip mine. Strip mine again. And our last one, I'm going to guess it is Arid Mesa. And Creeping Tarka, that's not it. Though still another pretty cool one, I think. It, it really is creeping in the art. Just skulking around the corner. All right, and that is five Zendikar Rising Collector Booster Boxes. We got all the sweet foils. We got the foil expeditions. And then we got our 10 non-foil box topper expeditions. And anyone can get these. They come in a draft booster box, set booster box, and then two packs in the collector booster box. And yeah, I appreciate everyone for coming out and watching the video, watching me bust some packs and crack them open. Zendikar Rising will be available Friday at 11 a.m. on September 25th. We'll have all of the sealed product and singles on our website, sentryboxcards.com. Uh, make sure you take a peek at that. We'll have a bunch of the expeditions, alternate foils, uh, pack foils, all the cool stuff on there, the showcase cards and whatnot. And I appreciate everyone for coming. We'll be announcing the winner on Facebook for our little giveaway. And yeah. Have a great day, everyone.